Hello everyone. Today's lesson will be place value patterns. Our learning goal for today is that in a multi-digit number, I can recognize a digit in one place represents 10 times as much as it represents to the place to its right, and a digit in one place represents one-tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. Let's take a moment to review place value. In this chart, we have the ones place, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Remember I told you one of the goals is to recognize that each time you move one place value to the left, the number is ten times as much. For example, if I start in the tens place with the number 50, if I move one space to the left to the hundreds place, now the value is 500. One more space to the left, now the value is 5,000. Because each time you move one place to the left, the number is 10 times as much. You'll see another pattern each time you move one space to the right. For example, from the thousands place to the hundreds place, the value becomes one-tenth as much. So let's say I had 6,000 here. When I move one space to the right, now I have 600 because that's one-tenth of 6,000. Another space to the right, the value is 60. Another space to the right, the value is 6. Are you noticing any patterns when looking at these numbers? Please excuse my messiness on the hint down below. If you didn't notice before, each time you move one place value to the left, you're adding a zero. Each time you move one place value to the right, you're taking away a zero. So let's say we started with 200. What do you think the value would be if we moved three spaces to the left. Well think, every time you move to the left, you're adding a zero. So we would go from 200 to 2,000 to 20,000 all the way to 200,000. So think, each jump is 10 times as much. So 10, 100, a thousand. So we can see that 200,000 is a thousand times as much as 200. Again, I got that number because one space was 10 times as much, another 10 times is a hundred, another 10 times is a thousand. Taking that same 200 and moving a space to the right, remember each time I'm taking away a zero. So one space to the right would make the value 20. Another space to the right would make the value 2. Think about what we just learned about patterns. When we're finding 10 times as much of a number, we're adding 0 to the value. When we're finding 1 tenth of a number, which is kind of like dividing by 10, we're taking off a 0. So if we had 10, and we wanted to find 10 times as much, add that zero. Now we have a value of 100. If we wanted to find 1 tenth of that 10, take off that zero. Now our value is 1. Since you see the pencil sign, go ahead and pause the video and copy this chart down into your notes. All right, now you're starting to get the hang of place value patterns. Number sentences can be a little bit tricky, though. Let me give you a hint. When you see the word is, that's like a giant equal sign. So now if I read our number sentence, it's 400 is blank times as much as 4. 400 is our answer. 4 is our starting point. And we want to know how many times as much 400 is than 4. Well, think about what we know about place value. If I start with 4, Say I moved one space to the left. Now the value would be 40. That was times 10. If I move another space to the left, now the value is 400. 
That was times 10 again. Well, perfect, 400 is what I wanted to get to. But my answer wouldn't be 10 because I did 10 times 10. That value is 100. So 400 is 100 times as much as 4. Let's look at the next one. 70 is blank times as much as 7. Again, we want to end with 70 and we're starting with 7. Well, if I start with 7 and move one place to the left, I'm adding that 0, the value 70. Well, that's where I wanted to be. So 70 is 10 times as much as 7. Need to see another one? 6,000 is blank times as much as 60. Remember, 6,000 is what we want to end with. And 60 was our starting point. So if I start with 60 and I move one space to the left, the value 600. Add that zero. Another space to the left, the value 6,000. Perfect, that's where we wanted to be. Well, this was times 10 and this was times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So 6,000 is 100 times as much as 60. You'll notice the last one is worded a little differently. We still have that is, so I'll put my equal sign, but this one says 80 is blank of 800. It does not say times as much. That's a hint that you're not moving to the left in this problem, but you're moving to the right to get a tenth of a number. So let's see. We want to end with 80, and we started with 800. If I start with 800 and move one space to the right, it's one-tenth of that number. I'm taking away a zero. The value's 80. That's where I wanted to be. 80 is one-tenth of 800. So let's sum up this lesson. In the number 8,556, how does the 5 in the tens place compare to the 5 in the hundreds place? Well, you could answer in two ways. You could say the 5 in the tens place is one-tenth of the value of the 5 in the hundreds place because it would be one space to the right. Or you could say the five in the hundreds place as 10 times as much as the value of the five in the tens place because that's one space to the left. Either way would be correct. Since you see the pencil on this slide, go ahead and pause the video and fill out your journal with the Sum It Up page. The last thing you have to do today is summarize with your LOL. That's your line of learning. So draw a line under your notes. You can use a marker or just darken it with pencil. And answer this question. How can you describe the relationship between two place value positions? Write your answer in your math journal. Be sure to use math vocabulary and complete sentences in your response.